Hey GTX crew, Melvin, Patrick, and Morgan here from Ghost, Texas. Welcome to another episode of After the Investigation. Today we're going to be discussing our thoughts on Bowers Mansion, one of our recent investigations. Uh, we know that sometimes from a viewer standpoint, you're seeing a completed episode, but you might not be able to get the full context of how we felt during that investigation, maybe some of the additional thoughts that we saw after reviewing the uh, uh videos and the audio. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to kind of go through some of this before we jump into it. Patrick, I know you had something you wanted to discuss. Yeah, I really just wanted to thank the owners of the Bowers Mansion for letting us come in. Uh, I know at that point, there was only a few uh, groups, investigation groups uh, coming in. So um, I, I hear they're they're doing pretty well. A lot of groups coming through. So you know what good for them. So yeah, just yeah. want to thank them. Yeah, yes. thank you guys. Yes, thank you. All right. So you want to get straight into this, man? You know what? Let's do that. Yeah. Let's let's kind of go through. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the actual episode and kind of, like Melvin said, we're going to break it down. So Melvin, if you don't mind, just kind of go to the five minute mark. Uh, there's been something on our mind that we really want to talk about. <clears throat> All right. Started in, what is this room called, guys? This is the men's parlor. And this is where he uh, shot himself, correct? I believe. Mm-hmm. And um, we're trying out something new. Uh, we're using, what is it? Now, is this? So you can just tell, look at all of us. We're all yeah. just kind of just sluggish. And uh, we just, we weren't feeling it. Yeah, it, so so uh, again, Bowers Mansion, we, we loved the ability to be there. So, you know, take this uh, uh, as constructive criticism, right? Um, we weren't aware that there was no AC and it was what about a hundred, 102 degrees outside that day. That day. Yes. It yeah. was, it was a very, very hot day in August. Yeah. And like Texas heat so, in August. So bad that you can see right here in this clip, I'm wearing shorts. I was wearing pants originally with, you know, you know, a little bit taller socks and I, I was so drenched in sweat just trying to get things set we weren't even finished setting up and i was like you know what guys I, i'm sorry i gotta run to walmart man i gotta go buy some freaking shorts i just can't i can't do this it was uh, painful yeah it was, and, it was very painful and and i guess everybody in uh, palestine um i think every male in palestine must wear a size 32 because <laughs> <laughs> Morgan went with me to Walmart <laughs> and I went through every single rack in that place and they had an endless supply of shorts, but none in a 31, 32 or a 33. I ended up just sucking it up and buying some oversized shorts and cinching them up with my belt. I know that has nothing to do with the investigation, but it was like on top of the fact that like we were taking time aside from doing our setup. But yeah, so by that time and getting back and we finished setting up all the cameras um, we were in investigation mode, but we were also kind of miserable because it was just it was, sticky and hot. Yeah, and yeah. it goes, I think it goes way beyond sticky and hot. Like it was one of those hots that you know you're going to need some significant time to recover from. Yeah. Um, because so, we weren't aware that there was not going to be any AC until we got there. Um, so we weren't mentally or physically prepared. Um, I can't. And we, we always packed food and drinks. We had waters. Yep. We had we had things to cool us down, you know. But like just sitting in this room, just sitting there, we were sweating. And yeah. so it's like... And it was a still hot. Yeah. So to <laughs> there was to, no breeze. <laughs> to get your mindset when you're trying to do an investigation, you kind of need to have sort of like a clear mind. Yeah. Yeah. And so we ultimately, we, we, we got a good investigation in, but I also think it hampered our investigation a little bit. Yeah. You Most can definitely. tell we have mental fogs during the episode. There were some mental fogs. There were just just slow speech. We were just, we were just drained. We were yeah. physically, mentally drained. And, uh, and one of the reasons I wanted to bring this up is because when I started looking back at the video, I was like, man, I look like I'm not even happy to be there. Or like, I just look like my, I'm somewhere else. And it's because half the time I was just trying to like, man, I'm so hot, you know, like, yeah. Yeah, you know, so you, your concentration is mixed up. So if you're watching this episode and it seems like maybe we don't seem like ourselves or maybe we show, seem like a little disinterested or a little out of focus, not focused visually, but just unfocused, that's why. That's, yeah, that's 100% why. It was the August Texas heat. Yeah, yeah. and had we known that, we still would have gone. Yeah, But absolutely. we just would have gone in like November. 
Yeah. Yeah. We would have scheduled it appropriately. (laughs) Yeah. Um, But I do remember at one point, you know, even Melbourne asked like, oh, well, you know, they're fans or anything. And she's no. Well, there was that one fan. There's a one small box fan. But of course, like Patrick just said, it was loud. And I I don't remember. Did we, we, we kept it running in like the kitchen, excuse me, the kitchen or something. Didn't we? I don't even remember. I don't think we did it all we didn't because it was too noisy. noisy. Yeah, yeah, it was way too noisy. Yeah. And that also, uh, um, we should mention too, is since it was hot, there were a lot of windows that were open. Yes. So we tried our best to make sure that our uh, entire investigation wasn't con- you know, contaminated with any additional audio, um, which I think in this episode, and we'll get to that point, but I think there's only really like one potential EVP. Yeah. Um, because it, it was it was too hard to really... Well, you know, you, you, there was there was you, noise you have a lot of a noise pollution in there. And also um, any time that you see any of the drapes in the background moving or lifting. It's a breeze. Or, it's yeah, breeze it, it could have most definitely been a breeze. Yeah. So just keep in keep in mind, you and know, that that could be easily debunked. Yeah. For the majority of the part, I think all the windows were open. Yeah. Um, there might have been a few that weren't. But and those were sealed shut. And I it checked. was still August. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, Texas was it really heat, a breeze? Yeah. I it, mean, it, it's, there was moving air, but it wasn't cool. Yeah. S- <laughs> speaking of moving cool air, now there was one thing that happened that did not make the, uh, the episode because it's just one of those things where um, just hard to prove, disprove. But That was the upstairs room, right? That was the upstairs room. Doing, I was doing a um, Estes Method uh, session. I had a cold blast of air uh, hit me on my arm. And like we said, there was no cold air in that place. No cold air mm-hmm. whatsoever. Uh, At that point, you're kind of hoping that something comes by you. <laughs> you kind of are really asking for interaction. Yeah. And it just to get some relief. It took me off guard. <laughs> One minute you're sweating, and the next minute you feel a cold blast. Um, but like I said, it's just one of those things. Um, yeah. It's not really evidence. You can't prove, you know, that I got blasted with the cold air. It's just, it's hearsay, but I know what I felt. felt yeah. great. <laughs> and, we, and we had w- w- one or two camera angles on that, but I just, it was, it was nothing really that, it, it's like you said, it's like, yeah, we had you, zero, can't, you can't, zero ca- you can't angles. capture a feeling. Yeah. Can't capture yeah. a feeling. Yeah. Well, and I mean, we didn't have the thermal on you or anything like that to yeah. be able to um, say. The thermal was just being uh, put on the ground Yeah, uh, when it happened. Yeah, um, wasn't even facing the arm that it happened on, which uh, bummed out about. Bad. But we try our best to have every camera angle imaginable, but there's always going to be some of those blind spots, man. Always. Yeah. Always. But all of this is to say that if we all look like we are not interested in what we're doing or we're just kind of aloof, that's really not the case. We were really honestly trying to have a good investigation at this location but yes. it's really hard to do when you are fighting heat stroke yes yeah. absolutely so if we seem unfocused that's why <laughs> that is why um so the next little section we're going to go to uh, melvin go to the eight minute mark it's basically going to be some of the responses we were getting from the um the spirit box that i was holding in my hand all right we're going to discuss some of that Whenever you want to pause it, Pat, just hit that space bar over there. Will do. You might have to hit it two or three times if it doesn't do it the first time. Actually, try to hit it real quick and hit play. There we go. Should I go to the other room so you men could talk? <laughs> what cracks me up about that is the T is like friendly. Tea. And then the, the woman's the like, women. the woman. <laughs> it's kind of like, what are you doing here? Yeah. You know what? Go in the other room, have the tea with the ladies, have your leave tea, us alone. Woman. Yeah. Leave us alone. He's not, the first one's a tea. Like, are you supposed to be tea? having tea right now? Women. Must be. I thought the meaning, the meaning <laughs> of the, uh, the, must, the must be lost is like, uh, she must be lost. What's she doing in this room? Yeah. I know, like and then you hear sarcastic. her saying, Andy. Like, I'm going. You know, that's kind of what it reminds me of. And look at that freeze frame of me and Patrick's face, dude. (laughs) And both of y'all are like, ooh, he about Uh, to get hit. As soon as we heard Andy, we're like, oh, woman, just go in the other room. And Andy being short for Andrew, obviously. Yes. Yes. And I think I say that even. I don't know. We're not. No. No, I'm I'm going. 
Okay, uh, and that also could where? be in reference to yeah. Morgan going to the other room. Yeah. yeah. Like it's, and it's his wife is fine. like, all right, I'm going. Mm-hmm. So those were you know, some of the, the things we wanted to talk about there uh, during that session. Uh, but the next point uh, we want to go to, uh, Melvin, if you don't mind, put it on the 16-minute mark. This is going to be um, Morgan's EVP session in the uh, upstairs bedroom by herself. Okay. <clears throat> and just as a, as a quick reminder, so when you're watching the episode up to this point, um, Morgan was, was doing some uh, Q&As, and she wasn't really getting anything. But this is leading up to the point where she started to feel a little uneasy. Is that correct? Yeah. Right. And, yeah. And she had sent us a text message to uh, come get her out of the room. Yes. It's, it's around there. Yeah. So I remember at this part, the anxiety that I felt, you know, it was normal like oh kind of creepy i'm by myself but then all of a sudden it just skyrocketed i felt like i say in the episode i felt trapped yeah. um now that usually doesn't happen to me during investigations i'm not a very anxious person i try to keep a very open mind um as to what i'm feeling what i'm seeing what i'm experiencing but here I, I needed to get out. And I remember I kept looking down at the door because I just knew any minute now I was going to see a shadow by that, by the crack of the door at the bottom of the frame. Yeah, right there. Come. And then that door was going to bust open. Mm -hmm. Like that was the it's coming for me kind of feeling that I was getting. Was um, was was this room significant to any of the history? Do we know? Yes. Uh, this was actually the room that Andrew killed his wife in. Oh, Mary. Yeah. Okay. This okay. is the master bedroom. So this is where she was sleeping when he came in and he got shot it, her. Got it. Um, which I don't know if what I was feeling was like residual energy from her anxiety, or maybe she's there and she was with me, and, and I was feeling for Andrew's boots to come. Yeah. Right in front of the door. Yeah. She now you know, hindsight, she knows what happened to her, and she has that anxiety. Yeah. Um, but again as Patrick said, is it's, it's all hearsay. I, it's all speculation, you know, that what I was feeling was, but it kind of came hard. out of nowhere though, right? It so, did. Oh, it sure. Did. Cause everything was pretty calm and, and cool. And then all of a sudden you got this, this anxiety attack. Yeah. Of. I mean like something creeping up your back, you need to leave immediately. Um, an attachment. Yeah. And like I said, it was, I just knew the longer I looked at that door, I was going to see just the darkest shadow come underneath it. And then that door was going to open. Mm. So that that's, that was my frame of mind right now during this part. That's why I was so fixated on filming the door because I just knew I was going to catch it. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I'm feeling this way, but I'm feeling very anxious kids. I was talking to the cat. Yes, I am. Trying to stay positive. <laughs> trying to get your mind off that. Yeah. Is trying that to feel else? grounded again. Yeah. Oh, I don't like it up here. Cat seems fine. Now I'm just fixated on that door now that I know. you told me that. You feel it. Yep. Yep, I don't like it. Like I was I was waiting for it because I just I knew it was gonna happen. And I mean the whole time you were in there the lights didn't never did that. Nope. It was just right when your the anxiety level was at its highest. Yeah. You keep it on? At first I was like, oh, oh. turn it off. And then it just kind of stayed on. I was like, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. So it's like so a lot of people who watch uh, paranormal stuff probably know some of this, but you know, some of the idea behind some of this too, though, is that a lot of it's energy based, right? Yeah. And the lights were normal. Then you kind of got this anxious feeling 
and you know there's some energy in the air and then that energy whether that energy was transferred to you or you transferred that energy outward who knows uh, and then all of a sudden the light starts flickering it's kind of a strange coincidence it is it is and like i said and, it the feeling in that room was so thick yeah with anxiety i honestly i have no idea how those cats were able to just lay there while that was happening and you know what not only that but you know, there might be a lot of people watching this, like, it's a 150-year-old house. You know, what if it's the wire? Yep. And you know what? It might be, but I don't remember any instances the whole, what, eight hours we were there? No, there was no light flickering. Yeah, nothing else did that, anything like that. So, I don't know. But, um, Melvin, if you want to go ahead and we can skip to the next uh, clip we wanted to talk about. It's at the 24-minute mark. Um, this is one of the things we caught on the infrared. Uh, one of oh, the questionable yeah. that we have no idea. Yeah. Oh, on the FLIR. Yeah. On the eye. Uh, okay. So um, before we hit play, uh, where Patrick's put these words here and it says at this moment you see something come into frame, obviously you can see that's me back there in the background. Uh, the way that these... Oh, obviously. These <laughs> cameras work, the way that this FLIR camera works. I mean, it looks just like you. Right, right, right. <laughs> Unmistakable. Um, but the way this camera works is, is heat signatures, right? Um, so when something comes into frame here in just a moment, nobody is in front of that camera. I'm the only person in front of that camera and I'm probably what, 10 feet away from that camera, maybe more. Yeah. yeah. Easy. Um, and nobody else is near it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually roll it back just about five seconds. And then what's uh, genius. Is Bernardo genius. Was that it right there? Yeah. That was it. Oh, you do a slow mo too, though, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bam, right there. You can see the cold what and heat this? signature. Yeah. So something came into frame that was showing high heat yeah. and also very, very low cold. Yeah. Which that's nothing, no object. If you look over my head, that's a window. Yeah. And so, so that's that's picking up the the cold glass. Yep. And then of course you see Melvin and my big head. Your big head. <laughs> um, hot head. But I mean even even the surrounding wood. Yeah, everything's got it like a like a, a neutral temperature. Yeah. But that is a high heat mark. Let me roll it back so again and let weird. it play without pausing it. Is What's it, genius? Is Bernard a genius? So here's the quick one. And it was so quick. It really was. And then... What's we, genius? There's me. Is Bernard a genius? Just standing there, leaning up against the door frame. So mm -hmm. this angle right here, Patrick is... That, that would have been about right here. Somewhere right in this area. Yeah. And Patrick is off camera here, probably a good two to three foot away, give or take. Mm -hmm. Because along this door there's a gap between that and the door that's looking upward at Patrick. So when this next clip comes up where you see Patrick, there's a stairwell that has a separate door that leads downstairs. That's genius. So yeah. Between genius. this door and that door. So Melvin is on the other side of this wall here. But about two foot over, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and then if you're looking at Melvin, Patrick is on the right side. I'm on the left. There's no way for me to have created that heat signature coming oh, from yeah. the right side. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much impossible like for any of us to have been. Yeah, and in, in a matter of fact, of even if you play it right now, you'll see me come into frame and you'll see the difference. True. So it's about 18 inches gap between the two doors. Yeah, it's a it's a good gap. You know, we've got overhead. We've gotten a couple different names since we've been here. Yep, see? And even over even the heat signature here is it's different. flipped. Yeah. It's flipped. You can see his shorts and you can see his leg. That's yeah. where the heat's coming from, his hand. But it, it yeah, was there was no it was flip flopped. Outline. Is Ooh. this also the clip coming up where it was saying that Patrick was smelly or something like that? You know what? Why don't you go ahead and hop <laughs> on to the twenty five minute mark? <laughs> yes. So we were getting some crazy Estes method responses. One of them was uh, a spirit calling me out. Thanks. Coming. Mm. 
Is it Steve? And so you remember us telling you how hot it was in this place. You know, we're still here trying to figure out why Andrew... Smelly. Why did Andrew kill his wife? Smelly. Hold on. Do you know? What was smelly? <laughs> so that's the only EVP we felt like we found, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, we didn't even discuss anything about this whole smelly coincidence with Patrick until just, a, you know, about half an hour ago, right? Yeah. And I, I said it kind of jokingly, but then we kind of were like, well, maybe, well, I don't know. Yeah, we that kind of falls all in might line. Have stuck right by, <laughs> by that time, you know, it was freaking hot all day. We, this is what, eight hours in at this point? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and not only that, but we also talked about this before. Um, go back and watch all the episodes. You're going to hear a lot of EVPs with my name being thrown out. Yes. There's Patrick's even name. some upcoming episodes that we haven't released yet with the same yeah, thing they, they always seem to make a point to say your name no matter what the circumstances if i'm smelly or yeah if you know patrick said and i have to have his own uh, beyonce song say my name say my you name know, <laughs> something so <laughs> or that yeah, destiny's good. child i don't remember yeah it's destiny's child <laughs> Uh, we'll play it back though, just cause I know we paused it. it it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's kind of laughable, but it's like also kind of, I don't know. It's just kind of strange, right? Like, yeah. Like, like that can't just be a coincidence. It's smelly. And then all of a sudden it's Patrick's smelly, there. And then it's Patrick. my name. You know, we're still here trying to figure out why Andrew, smelly. why did Andrew <laughs> kill his wife? Do you know? And also, just to be clear, none of us heard the word Patrick or the name no. Patrick in the moment. We discovered that in the, in reviewing the content uh, later. Yeah. Thanks for calling me out. <laughs> Smelly Patrick. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, gosh. Um, let me see. Melvin, if you wouldn't mind, <clears throat> go ahead and let's go. Go to the 27, 27, 27. Go just a little bit ahead of it so it can play. So the cats. That's dog barking. You hear the two cats yes. uh, mm -hmm. meowing in the other room? Hey, cute kitties. Which, the cat room was this direction, right? Yes. Yes. There's this, uh, this is a door. There's a hallway that runs behind this. And then this is another, this obviously is a door, but this is a door to that room as well. Yeah. And then the hallway continues down that way. And somewhere right around in there, I think, is where the cat door. Well, actually, that might be a door right there. You see it That right is here? a door. I think that's the cat room, right? That might be the cat room. Yeah. Right there. And just the spirit box uh, responses we're going to get here in a minute. And it, it just. Yeah. You're going to have to speak more clearly than that. Both of them. So both there were cats? there were two cats in the room. Yeah, both of the cats. I, I mean. Both y'all, well, Adolfo's with y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we don't know what this stuff means. We just try to make sense of it. And, yeah. uh, you know, the cats were meowing. We were talking about the cats meowing. And then all of a sudden the words, both of them come through. So let me play it back without interruption so you can kind of see what we're talking about. Oh, I went back too far. Is that a dog barking? Cats. Mm hmm you're gonna have to speak more clearly than that. Both of them? Both of them? Research what? That part too is kind of like you're gone or be gone or and then the researchers. So it's like it, it's it's identified that we're researchers maybe. Maybe. And it's telling yeah. us that we need to be gone. You need to go. Um, I don't know. I, and, and in the moment, I wasn't thinking that at all. And yeah. I, again, at this point, we're just like kind of delirious. And we're just like, yeah, we got to make the best of this time over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even the ones that come right after this, before I come upstairs. I mean. Let's see. Is it here or is it, does it need to be faster? Yeah, it's after I come in. That walkie, 
that was weird. You know, as yeah. long as we've had these walkies, I've never done that. Kind of gotten like interference from anything else. By the way, um, that basement, you couldn't see anything if you didn't have the little tiny screen about this big uh, on the camcorder. Yeah. Like, like you couldn't see your hand in front of your face. <clears throat> so and going up those stairs, even though it was only like four or five stairs or six stairs, you couldn't see anything. And, and uh, the roof was low. And so the more you go up the stairs, the less clearance you have. So, um, yes, yeah, so if you see us stumbling around in there throughout the episode, that's why. Made for a fun night. Yeah. <laughs> Now, mind you, right across the street, right there is the funeral home. Mm -hmm. There was a funeral home next door to right the house. there, right? Yes, Back and there. that's actually the neighbor that um, the discovered in the intro. Yeah, the neighbor that was called, uh, that Andrew yeah. called. There it is. It's a better shot of it. Yes. Now, supposedly, too, and there's a part somewhere in here we mentioned about a portal. They think that there's a portal somewhere in the house, and they think somehow it connects to the the funeral, the funeral home. home, right? Yeah. Um, and there was one thing that I kind of noticed and it's going to be off camera here, but there is a, a well right here. Yes. Um, and then there is also like this PVC pipe that looks like it runs all the way under the street and potentially to the funeral home. We can't confirm that, but I'm just trying to make sense of these connections, you know? Yeah. And well, and they, they have also said that spirits do, um, use waterways. Yeah, as a way to connect. Yeah. Yeah, so I, 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 I kind of aggravated with myself because I remember uh, mentioning um, when we were setting up, that I was like, hey, we should go do at least one session by that that well. Yeah. Um, and we, we just forgot to do it, you know? Yeah. And we may or may not have gotten anything. Um, well, we, f we forgot to do a lot of stuff. Yeah, I mean, like, there was several things we I wanted to take pictures so of that I never took pictures yeah. of. The brain fog the was brain fog. Yeah. awful. Yeah. Um, there were areas of the house we wanted to do uh, investigations in that we never did, like mm -hmm. that upstairs bathroom. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, because the uh, gentleman that was disabled, that was his bathroom, correct? Yes, yep. Bernard. Yeah. Bernard, yeah. So we, we forgot to do that. Um, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know uh, a whole lot about portals myself, um, but I do just remember seeing that and thinking, well, maybe that's, that's the connection of the two buildings. Who knows? Yeah. This is true. Actually, that little gazebo right there, that's where the well is. That's, yep, that's it. What was that flash? I saw that too. And I thought I saw something a couple seconds ago. <laughs> we might have to go back and rewatch this. Hopefully somebody catches it. Right, what, before the, going to the door? Before the flash. I mean, we can roll it back real quick, like... Oh, well, no. But was it? It was across the street. Oh. Just hit the space bar when you. No, I'm, I'm going to have to go back too many times. Okay. Yeah, that flash, flash was weird. And that's the second time that that had happened. It also could be, since he's got the IR on, that it could be reflecting uh, across a, a glass across the street or something. Oh, yeah. I don't know, but... That's a potential. Yeah, and you still got the IR on up till. Yep, me putting the dead walkie up. And something else I just thought of real quick. This place was pretty big. What do you think is about 2,500 to 3,000 square feet or bigger than that? Or Bigger than that. Yeah. It, um, double that. It had two different stairwells. There was the, the more formal stairwell in the middle of the house, and then there was like a back stairwell that connected the kitchen to Bernard's room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was the, um, the servant's yeah. stairwell. Yeah. And then, and then by that stairwell and in between the kitchen, there was like a like kind of a utility closet. It had like a water heater, kind of random sink back there. Mm -hmm. um, that was actually where one of the motion sensors was set up. Mm -hmm. um, 
how many bedrooms did we have upstairs? Like bedroom slash rooms. There was about five or so up there, maybe six. One, two, three, four. Four. Yeah. But they were massive rooms. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and um, a lot of them had, you know, like walkout terraces. Yeah. Yeah. If not all of them. I mean, uh, we just didn't have access to it because it was still going under renovations. Yeah. It wasn't safe. But yeah, so it was a really big property. So like when you see us walking through these rooms, and the reason I'm thinking about it, because I'm just seeing Patrick kind of walk through this room and it made me, you know, realize like the layout of this place was pretty big. It's it's actually probably not that far, big of a difference in size from the San Jacinto County Jail. Footprint wise. I'm trying to think. Yeah, it's about... It's about the same. It's real, yeah. bo- it's real boxy, like the jail. Yeah. yeah. Not including the schoolhouse, but just the jail. Yeah. 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 True. Should we skip forward or is this getting... Yeah, no, you can skip forward. Um, I believe I, I still go and grab the camera before I head upstairs to where y'all are at. I just don't remember how far we got to... Okay. So it should be right around here, right? Yeah. So Patrick's coming from the basement to meet us. You know what? Maybe the failed, Mm -hmm. right? It's saying that you failed at uh, investigating in the basement, like because you were come you you were just coming up from the basement, and it was like ha, yeah, failed. failed. Yep. I mean, it could have been. I don't know. I didn't think about that till right now. You're you're a failure, Patrick. Like, hey, Patrick, (laughs) did you do any good in the basement? (laughs) No, I failed. 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 Was that help or damn? I have no idea. They're coming. Who's coming? Sounds like Optimus Prime. (laughs) Looks like Patrick's coming up from the basement. Yeah. And I do want to say what I was doing with my mouth. I was snacking. Yes. <laughs> I we, had food in my mouth. We did do that. At, uh, yeah. Like we, I said, we were on there investigations. Eight hours. Yeah. We, we snack. We have hard. sandwiches yeah. and nuts and lunchables. And candy. Candy yeah. drinks. We have to. Yeah. We, we really do. We have to keep our, our blood sugar up sugar being up it. for that you long. Sugar it up. And we, yeah. This was a long day. We, what time did we leave Houston? One thirty. Yeah. One thirty in the afternoon. And then what time did we leave? Bowers Mansion. Oh, three, around three thirty in the morning. Three three thirty yeah. in the morning, yeah. And yeah. then drove back to Houston another three hours. Two and a half, yeah, two and a half hours. Um, stopped for food. Yeah. Um, did we? Did we? Yeah. We had to have. We go to Whataburger. Whataburger. Oh, yeah, we, we had went to, to Whataburger. That's our like after the invest. That's our ATI eating spot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not the ATI episode, but that's our after the investigation meal. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Gotta, gotta get my bobs. But uh, long day. I did. I did notice. Like, what am I doing with my mouth? I was like, Oh my god, that's right. I was eating. <laughs> so I don't have like a weird it. tick. You can see it in your hands there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think that's a camera. I, I used oh, my, that's my niece's camera. Um, Polaroid camera. M- m- mentioning that. We're going to try to get some of those Polaroids and put them on our Instagram. If yeah. you're not uh, following us on Instagram, go check us out. Um, any social media, it's, uh, is it follow Ghost Texas or follow Ghost G, Ghost, T- oh my God, why don't I know this? Follow Ghost Texas. I don't think Texas is spelled out though. No. Oh no, follow Ghost. Yeah. We're, we're bad people. It's follow Ghost TX. Yeah. I think the only thing that's Ghost Texas is our website and our that's what our, I'm thinking uh, of. Yeah. There we go. All social media. Follow Ghost TX. Mm-hmm. We got some cool photos here from uh, some of our past investigations and mm-hmm. upcoming investigations that we haven't posted yet. This is uh, actually on the property of Bowers Mansion right there. Yep. So, but let's get back to this. My apologies. No, you're fine because it's actually you're about to come to a good part. Um, yeah. Kind of want to explain a little bit of something about to happen. Did you get your hang up the gunner? So the walkie's damn near dead. The All video, dead. video camera drained. I love that. All um, of them are dead. You know me. I don't get scared very easy. And I do. Yeah. There's something very unsettling down there. Yeah. Who's that kid from home? Okay. So what you're going to hear right now 
is you're going to hear the motion sensor that's in Bernard's room and the staircase, kind of what Melvin was talking about earlier. Uh, we have them in two different spots. Uh, we did hear reports of one of the doors opening in Bernard's room. So we wanted to be ready in case there were any movements. So, well, and um, it was the specifically the door in Bernard's room that led to the servant's stairwell. staircase mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that hooks up to the kitchen. Yeah. And I guess while we were talking, and also with the receiver being downstairs on the other side of the house, that might have been why we didn't hear anything uh, with us talking and the location. Um, if you look, hang on real quick, where Patrick, uh, so this is, what are we at, 3109? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so when Patrick, see this white thing back here? That's the receiver. Yep. That's what will chime or make a noise. If that's somebody the speaker. Goes in front yeah, of, that's the, the speaker. It's the yeah. speaker attached yeah. to the, the alarm, yeah. so what, the motion sensor. What were we at just now? 30? 3109. 3109. I already forgot. Okay. So go, go ahead and say what you're saying. Oh, yeah. No, so basically, yeah. So with this going on, um, we just didn't hear the alarm sound. With our own ears. Yeah. I mean, we were just so wrapped up in the conversation, uh, we just didn't hear it. So it either was on the staircase or in Bernard's room. We don't know where the movement was, but I want to say all night long, that was the only time that we caught something on the motion sensor, which I'm glad we brought. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm glad we brought it. The first, was that the first time we've used some, I think it is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we tried to add new tools and, and things that we can use uh, for our investigations as we go. And so this was something new. Um, it's just a door sensor. So. Um, we're going to play it. You're going to hear a chime. And what, is, what does it say? Hello, welcome. Yes. So the speaker will say, hello, welcome. In a woman's voice. Mm -hmm. um, and then following that clip, you'll see a replay clip of the audio of that. So listen closely because you're going to hear it in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Who's that kitten from earlier? Well, at one point, I had the screen flipped towards me. And he was on the opposite side of the basement. So or something but i could have swore like it just felt like somebody was behind me sorry if i blasted y'all's ears but i wanted to turn it up you can hear it right there at that point it says hello welcome i'm not going to turn it up again but i am going to do a quick rewind and replay i could have swore right there hello welcome mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or like it just felt like somebody was behind me did, did you, you have the ir light on i had the ir light on i need to go back with the the camera footage, but it looked like somebody was behind me. It's probably my eyes playing tricks on me. That's yeah. why I want to go back and look. Yeah, I don't have. But I had that still in that yeah. yeah. That was that stink face. Ew. Yeah. 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 So give a little context. You go through this door here. There's a small little weird kind of wasted space room there. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Well, it's it's part of like an informal dining room. So you would have just like a breakfast nook in there. And, okay. Yeah. It was just and so small. And then this is the formal dining room. Got it. Maybe it was like the butler's pantry or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so you have this smaller uh, dining area and then it passes through to the kitchen. And then behind the kitchen is, like we mentioned, the staircase that wraps around and goes up um, to Bernard's room. Yes. So it's like a three-turn stairwell. So you go up, 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 and that's where that door was that we uh, had Patrick actually standing in front of earlier. Mm -hmm. and we were showing you that other clip. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And then we, again, for context, are above this room and two rooms to the left. Yeah. Um, all four of us. Yeah. So, and also all the cats, or only two, were all in Mary and Andrew's room. So there was no possible way that a cat, or another creature, or another animal could have walked by the sensor. Yep. Um, because they were all put away, and we made sure of that. Um, I think we even asked the owners if they could be removed from the property because we didn't want to have even that contamination. Um, but unfortunately. 
they, yeah, they, they had, had to, to stay. stay. So we were very careful to make sure that they stayed contained. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So if you played, we can actually see. Oh, it already go, went off. <laughs> Here we go. And I want you to pay attention to something after it goes off. Really listen. I heard a, a thump. Oh, like and it might have been it might have been too. us. It, it might have been us. Yeah. Maybe me leaning up against the door. I don't yeah. know. I've always thought it, but I didn't bring it up in the episode because, you know, it could have been me shifting. Who knows? Yeah. Um, now here, us driving to the cemetery, it was a bummer. It was locked um, because we were also told there is a portal near the Bowers um, headstone. Yeah, and cemeteries are kind of hit or miss. Yeah. Some of them yeah. um, are not restricted or closed off or gated off. Uh, unfortunately, this one happened to be gated off and is only open during, I guess, daytime hours. Yeah, daytime. Um, which is kind of to be expected. I get it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, but we just didn't know what to expect uh, going into it. And since we lost some time in the setup and running to Walmart and all this other extra stuff, we didn't get to go explore the uh, the cemetery during the daylight hours to see if there were specific hours or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Which, and I don't know about you guys, but I find cemeteries to be beautiful places. Um, They're peaceful. Mm -hmm. They are extremely peaceful. And a lot of... Um, the sayings on the tombstones are very poetic and beautiful. And, um, honestly, some of them are super interesting. So yeah. that is something that I was kind of bummed out that we didn't get to go and see. Yep. Yeah. We, we haven't had the best of luck with, uh, cemeteries that are connected to investigation spots. I mean, yeah. like we, one of our most successful videos is a cemetery, Martha's chapel cemetery. Um, check but, that out. but we went, yeah, go check it out. When we went to the jail though, um, we kind of ran into the same issue. We combed that cemetery on two different visits. Oh my gosh. Yes. And we could not find. That was when we got the stickers, like the, the thorns. The sticker bird. Well, we, we all in our feet, Melvin and I, it was yeah. awful. Well, the first time we investigated was when Adolfo and, um, Mariah were with us. Yeah. And we, yep. we went, we scoured that whole cemetery, could not we find We looked the, at every single tombstone. Uh, tombstone, headstone, could not find Humpy Parker's um, headstone anywhere. Yeah, and then Morgan and I went back for a second visit, and we, were just, uh, we went to the town just to shoot B-roll, and could not find that headstone anywhere. I'm pretty sure the entirety of what I filmed was me just, like, complaining. Yeah. It, About yeah. like, oh my God, oh, what feet. is this? Yeah. <laughs> we were out there for a good hour. Oh, we were. We were, we went. It, I row mean, by row. Row by row. He started on one side of the cemetery. I was on the other. And then we crossed and then we went back <laughs> and we could not find it. I, I, with that one, and I know this one's not related to Bowers Mansion, but with that one, I'm convinced that either somebody took it upon themselves to remove the headstone or they purposely let it get grown over. Because or maybe the family the, removed the shame, it. You know? Yeah. Um, who knows? Uh, is there anything else on this so one we need go, to go if over? If you go to the 33-minute uh, mark, uh, one last thing we can talk about. 33. Oh, your balls. Yeah, yes. let's talk about your balls, yeah. Patrick. So <laughs> when they light up, they light up. <laughs> <laughs> and this night, they lit up. So so uh, they're motion sensors of... <laughs> they are. Um, well, sorry. I, I mean, these, not just the slightest <laughs> vibration will make them go off. Oh, um, TMI. I, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <clears throat> no, seriously, though, there's what two plastic balls right here. Honestly, they have to be just moved at the slightest or um, yeah. So there's two there. They're clear with uh, LEDs inside. With, of them. Yeah. Yeah. They're about the size of like what a cat would typically pay, play with, like a bouncy ball. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Roughly that yeah. size. And there, it has to have like physical motion. Yeah, or it's, not, physical it's, not, it's not just touch. light motion. You, you, yeah. can, you can walk around them you as can, much as you want. You can blow on them. You can, you uh, can yeah. roll them. Um, <laughs> Patrick's <laughs> flushing over here. <laughs> well, they are my balls. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see what happens when uh, Patrick's balls are left in the... Uh, Hulk. When they're left alone. <laughs> you know, it's that stupid ghost saying, saying I'm smelly. <laughs> it was checking your balls. 
And only one. You know what's weird? Okay. I think it's lit up the entire time, but I never noticed it till right now. So I'm looking down here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then I look up here. Does that not look like a creepy little face? I'm not kidding. When my seven-year-old nephew watched this with me, mm -hmm. he said, well, Aunt Em, that's a face. It's like two eyes And I was like, uh, no, face. sweetie, that's the camera. And he goes... But the camera's up here. No, that's a face, Aunt Em. The, the camera's up here. I think this could be a light fixture. Is there a window back there? What what room was that? That was, that was the, bathroom. the bathroom. Oh, yeah. so that, was there a mirror there? No. There there was a mirror. But, uh, not but the mirror would have been on. the mirror would have been a bit, little bit higher. There's nothing on the tripod that would light up that way. Um, we mm -mm. did at one point. I thought the mirror was you walk in the bathroom and you take a left. I mean, I'm not. The mirror's I'm right not convinced there. that it's a ghost or anything. I mean, for me, it's no, probably but just I think some it's weird strange. reflection. But this is the first time I ever noticed it right now in this moment because I'm sitting here looking for these things to flash and then I glance up and see this like white spot and all this darkness. Yeah. I'm like, what the heck is that? And Wouldn't that be creepy if while we were watching it, all of a sudden it blinked? Yeah, so instead of looking at the balls, <gasps> let's look at this. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> Sorry, Patrick. Hey, you know. Here. Does it look like it's flickering? Yeah. Well, now these are flickering, but maybe it is the mirror. If it is a mirror, it could be a light fixture across the way. I don't know. We That'd be interesting. We have to go back and look at that. Yeah. I can, I can definitely yeah, do that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, do we have some video of that bathroom in the daylight or with lights on, right? Yes. Uh, too late to throw it into this ATI, but I wonder what the heck that is. What do you guys think it is? Yeah. Let us know in the comments. I, I, mean, I think it's just some sort of weird light flare or something, but... Maybe, uh, maybe you'll be able to see it in... Uh some other clips maybe it's that son of a bitch that said i stank <laughs> he's in the bathroom waiting for you <laughs> all right well oh, yeah so uh, the, are there any other clips that are you, <laughs> you know that's all i got um i think that's it stinky pat we have another episode coming soon patrick's hard at work on that he sure yeah. is and I might put a little snippet at the end of this one. I kind of like doing that at the end of uh, the ATIs, putting a little. Do we want to say what it is or where it was? Sure. Um, we're all Houston natives here. We are. I live in the heart of downtown. And uh, if even if you're Houstonian, you may not know this, but in downtown Houston, there's somewhere between six and seven miles worth of underground tunnels that connect probably about 70, 80% of downtown buildings and structures underground. Yep. Uh, there's food courts, there's businesses, there's hair salons. There's cornhole. Yeah, there's cornhole and foosball. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool. Like Houston being, we, we were talking about the heat in Palestine. Houston's a super hot city. So uh, these tunnels were developed to connect all of the cities so that even on the hottest of days or rainiest of days and business professionals need to go eat lunch and go back and forth to these buildings, they can do it in the tunnels, but there are some supposed haunted history uh, in these tunnels. And so, and of course in the buildings above the tunnels. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. A few, few very specific buildings. And there, actually there's a lot of buildings in downtown Yeah. Um, that are on our list. Mm -hmm. Anybody in Houston, that has connection to any places in downtown that we yeah. could potentially get into or really just anywhere in Houston and the surrounding area. Yeah. I mean, we're here, we're interested. And if you know anybody who would be interested, well, a few buildings in specific, we would really love to get in rice loss. We'd love to get yep. into Esperson, uh, tower, um, the downtown, um, uh, library. Yeah. Uh, yes. La Caroff. Yeah. Uh, what are is there is am I miss, am I missing any of them? No, um, I think I think those are the the major ones the, that the we've been ones. interested yeah. in, in yeah, investigating. It, if anybody can get us in the door at any of those places, we'd love it. But yeah, so we do we do have an episode coming soon, ish. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, of the tunnels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I am. I'm, you're going to see a little bit of it after this. Nice. I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Good. Do it. Do it. Do it. Dead. Dead. Done. So yeah, that was a that was a very interesting investigation. Um, the tunnels or or the Bowers Mansion? Both. Yeah. Um, At least we weren't battling with the heat in the tunnels. Yeah. Just a stench. Which I'll take. <laughs> Actually, I'll we, take we, we, smelly. 
over the heat. So will I. Yeah. Apparently so. <laughs> we were smelly after the heat. Oh, it was Speak rough. for yourselves. It was uh, rough. No, I probably stank. <laughs> uh, guys, so uh, we're sorry we're getting silly here. Oh, um, we are. If, if there's anything that you guys ever see in any of our episodes, screenshot it, record a clip of it, you know, send it to us uh, as an email or as a message in, in social media. Uh, in the comment of the YouTube clip, video. Yeah, yep. clip yep. a snippet of it and send it to us. On, Any way you want to share However it. you can get it to us, let us know. Um, and we'll make sure, you know, like to go back and review it. And then if we happen to have more than one angle of that particular thing that you see or hear or whatever, we can try to dig up that footage and go see if we can get different perspectives of it. We, we yeah. usually, when we do our investigations, we put out a lot of cameras on top of the ones that we're carrying. Yeah. Yes. So we usually have multiple angles of most of this stuff. Yep. Um, True. But yeah. Kind of rambling at this point. Want to close it out with this. Even if it's not the Houston area, if it's somewhere in Texas, if it's somewhere we should investigate, and especially if you have access or can get us access to something that would be worth our time to investigate, we want to hear from you. Sometimes that's our biggest obstacle is getting access to some of these sought after spots. Uh, or maybe it's nobody's investigated whatsoever and you think it's worth our time. Oh, yeah. Those are my favorite. Yep. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I love those. We will see you guys in the next investigation in the tunnels. Yep. All right. Anything else, guys? No. No. Done. Who has the last word? One, two, three. Done. Later. Bye. <laughs>